Assalamu alaikum. Dear learners, I hope you are fine and are doing great. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use signal editor in MATLAB Simulink to generate some signals so that using those signals, you can drive a robot. So in my previous video, I've used signal builder to generate the signals and fed those signals to the robot and the robot moved through those signals. But for many people out there, they don't have signal builder in their MATLAB because it has it is outdated now and now they are using signal editor instead. So many of you have asked me to make a video that how to use a signal editor. So uh, let me show you that how you can use signal editor to do the same thing. So I have a robot over here, which is a three degree of freedom robot. It is basically a SCALA robot that has two Revolut joints and the last one is the prismatic joint. So uh, Q1 and Q2 are going to be degrees or radians, whereas Q3 is the last prismatic joint that will require uh, input in form of meters. So I'll use the signal editor to design a joint space trajectory so that I can feed that trajectory to the robot and it can move on that trajectory. The trajectory that I'm going to use is, uh, let me show you first. This table shows the trajectory that I'm going to use. So at time t equals to zero, all three joints will be at zero position. Whereas after 0.5 seconds, joint one must have rotated to 50 degrees, joint two to 45 degrees and joint three will remain at zero. Then at one second, joint one will go to 110 degrees, joint two to 60 degrees and joint three will still be at zero. At 1.5, joint 1 and 2 will remain at the same location and joint 3 will move downwards because I have a prismatic joint attached as joint 3, so it will have a movement of 0.4 meters. After that, at time equals to 2 seconds, joint 3 will move backwards, that is upwards, and other two joints will remain at the same position. After that, from 2.5 to 3.5, the joints 1 and 2 will take the manipulator to a new location and joint 3 will be used to move downwards or it will mimic that it is dropping something at a new location. So it has picked something from this location which was achieved at 1.5 seconds and it is dropping something at a new location which is achieved at 3 seconds. So after that at 4 seconds it will return to its home location. So this will be the trajectory that I would be uh, encoding using signal editor. So to have the signal editor block you can double click on this Simulink environment and type in signal editor. Double click on this signal editor to open its properties. And over here, under this signal properties setting, click on this button. This will allow you to create signals. So uh, this new signal editor window will be opened. And over here, you can see scenario. By clicking on this small drop down icon, you will see that there is one signal present in this scenario. In fact, we will need three different signals for three different joints. You can click on this checkbox to reveal what is in this signal. So right now the signal is a blank signal that goes from, uh, from 0 to 10 seconds and it has a value of 0. To edit the signal, let, let me call this signal for joint 1. So I'm labeling, I'm double, uh, you can double click on this name and name it as joint 1. So this signal will be provided to joint 1. To edit the signal, you can add rows over here by clicking on this button. So let me add some rows. And now let me add the time values. So the first time value is 0, next is 0 0.5, then I have 1, after that it's 1.5, then it's 2, and at the last value is 4. So these are the time values. Now the data values for joint 1, well, the first one was 0, then it was 50, after that it was 1, 1, 10, 1, 1, 0, then 1, 1, 0 again, 1, 1, 0 again, then it was 60, 60, 60 and 0 again. So this is our first signal. You can right click on this plot area, go to zoom and pan and select fit to view to view your signal. So this is the signal which will be fed to joint number one. Now for the next signal, you can right click on this pan, uh, select insert and then blank signal. A new signal will be added over here. You can name this signal as joint two. You can uncheck it so that the signal for joint one is hidden and you can check this Join two signal. Okay, now once again, I have to add the values for this thing. Once again, time values. And now the data values, the first one is zero, the second one is 45, then it was, it was 60, 60, 60, 20, 20, and 20. So this is my second signal that will be fed to joint number two. Once again, I am going to hide it by unchecking this thing and right click 
click on this insert and blank signal. Now I'll need this third signal for joint number three. So once again, I'm going to add the time values. And for data value, I have 0.4 over here and 0.4 over here. Rest of them are zero. So this is the signal that is uh, going to be fed to joint number three. So that's it. Now I can close this window or uh, I have to save this first. If you'll close it without saving, it will ask you to save. I'll recommend over here that you should save it because next time you'll open this uh, file, symbolic file, the signal will be gone. So you should save it. So I'm going to save it. So now this is the file name that I have given to this thing, untitled2. So uh, later on, whenever you want this signal to be reloaded, you have to uh, give this file over here. Okay, now the next thing is that we need to define the uh, signal units. For joint number one, signal units should be degrees. So we, uh, because we have used degrees, you can use uh, SI names over here. And the other thing is you need to interpolate data as well. Otherwise, it will just generate uh, data uh, uh, which you have defined without any interpolation between them. So you need to click on this checkbox. So this is your first joint. Click on apply so that it is saved. Then go to this second joint. Write its units at degrees. Once again, interpolate data, apply. And then the last joint is this time meters because it's a prismatic joint, click on interpolate data and apply and click OK. OK, so now that's it. We have these three signals that can be fed to uh, our robot and our robot will move. OK, uh, you might be wondering that this, this signal editor is generating joint number one and two signal in terms of degrees, whereas normally robots do require uh, joint angles in form of radians. Uh, yes, you are correct. But over here in this signal uh, converter, which is similar to PS converter, I have specified radians as signal input unit. So it the mat, so MATLAB will automatically convert degrees into radians. And it is shown by this small arrow over here, which shows that automatic conversion from degree to radians is being performed over here. So you don't need to have another degree to radian block. So that's it. Now you can click on run and see that how your uh, robot is working. So this is our robot and it is working perfectly. So the robot is moving from its home position, which is this one, and then going to the new location, dropping something, picking something from there, coming to a new location, dropping it, and performing it again and again because I've used a repetition over here. So dear learners, I hope you have understood how you can use Signal Editor to generate signals similar to those of Signal Builder. So now you can use it quite easily to drive any degrees of freedom robot you have. Thank you and take care.